How about I go? How about I go there? How about I go there? How about I go where? How about I go here? How about I go here? How about now? How about I go? Make money with tax liens. Welcome back. Today's episode will surprise many of our viewers. Tax lien certificates are predictable, they're certain, and they're secure. What everyone appreciates is the government mandated interest rates that start at 8% annually. However, they are normally more like 16%. 18%, 24%, and all the way up to 36% interest. I'm not an attorney. I'm not a real estate broker. I'm not a CPA or a financial planner. I'm an investor, an author, and a guide to teach people that want to learn about tax lien certificates and tax defaulted property. Now, there's thousands of individuals that want to make money with tax lien certificates. So this is really an alternative investment for many people across the United States. I'll be right back. The United States is divided into 3,000 county governments. Now, these local county governments are all authorized to sell tax defaulted property. All right, about half of those counties, about 1,500 of those counties, will actually be benevolent and they will sell a tax lien certificate prior to confiscating the property and levying on the property. So I'm going to talk about those benevolent counties that sell tax lien certificates. It's about 1,500 of those. So they can sell a tax lien certificate. They're not going to seize the property. They're not going to try to push the people off the property. The defaulting homeowner will stay on the property when the tax lien certificate is sold. So there are about 1,500 counties that do that. Now, the people that benefit the most are the people on the property because they don't get pushed off the property. Even though they're in default, they're not paying the taxes, but they're allowed to stay in the property. So the tax lien certificate buyer is not allowed to try to push them off or communicate. Okay, so it's a public auction. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get her going here. Stop me off. Where to bid to go? Have it like a thousand dollar open it up. You can find about those auctions either online on the county website or in the local newspaper. The tax lien certificates are usually sold at the lowest rate. The people that bid the lowest rate are the ones that get the tax lien certificate. All right. Now, the new owner of the tax lien certificate has no right to the property. I want to make sure everyone understands that. You can't push the people off the property. You have no right to collect anything but high interest on the certificate. The property owner will remain in place, and they could stay there for a number of years. Now, look, everyone wants to make money. Tax lien certificates are available in half of the counties across the United States. You can find out about, about them in the local newspaper and on the local county websites. Many of the certificates are sold online. Many of the auctions are conducted online. So a common question is, what happens if the people don't pay? And what happens to the mortgage? And what happens to the deed of trust and so on? All right, so a common question is this. All right, if the property owner does not pay the tax lien certificate, what's going to happen to my money? Well, the majority of property owners will pay the tax lien certificate, so that means you get your money back. So you get not only your investment, but you get that high interest rate back. So what happens to the tax defaulted property? People, well, they stay right on the property. They don't do anything. Your biggest concern is, are you going to get paid? All right, remember that people are staying in place. You're just sitting passively waiting to collect your money on a tax lien certificate. Majority of these people will pay, and they'll pay not only what you invested, but they'll pay a high interest rate. So generally speaking, depending upon which county it is, could be 95, even 97% of all the certificates will pay you 100% of your investment plus a high interest rate. All right, now let me give a little bit more specific on these high interest rate. Florida will pay up to 18%. Arizona pays 16%. Iowa can pay up to 24%. Illinois all the way up to 36%. You're getting the idea. Now, I didn't cover all the states, but about half of the states and counties will sell tax lien certificate. All right, so when the property owner has defaulted and does not pay, well, they can sit there until the redemption period expires. So the redemption period on a tax lien certificate can be anywhere from one year, two years, three years, depending upon where you're buying. Florida is like two years. Arizona is like three years. So if you own the certificate, you're going to own it for that full amount of time. That means if another certificate comes up, you should buy the subsequent certificate. All right. Now, the county had a lien on the property. And what the county did is they sold the lien to the investor. 
In other words, the investor bought the county's lien. All right, the county no longer is worried about that property because what they've done is they've actually said, you buy our lien and we will covenant that you'll get paid on the lien or you'll get the property. So you're going to get paid on the lien or you're going to get the property. All right. Now, what's the county going to do about all this? Well, the county's not going to do anything. You're going to buy their tax certificate. You're going to sit on it. You're going to wait. All right. So the legislature has mandated that the people can stay in the property until their redemption period has passed. All right. Now, if the redemption period has passed, then what you'll have to do is you'll have to foreclose on the property. How do you go about doing that? You have an attorney do that and you send many default notices. There'll be numerous default notices. All right. Those are required by law. All right. So that's the process of levying and confiscating the local real estate. So the tax lien that the county sold you owe interest on it, but they haven't paid. The, they haven't paid the certificate and they haven't paid the interest. So now what do you do? You do this process and this process simply is a foreclosure, which means you hire an attorney to do the foreclosure. They're going to send many default notices. If the people don't uh, respond to the default notices, you're definitely going to end up with the property. Here's a perfect example. My student bought a certificate and invested a total of $11,000 in the certificate. They gave many notices of default to the property owner. The property owner did not respond. So they took the notices and they went to the judge and the judge granted them the property. That is the process. Now, I'm not an attorney. My explanation is not meant to be that. It's just so that you understand it. Now the student has proceeded with the foreclosure. All right. When the foreclosure is finished by the attorney and the student, when it's all finished, they ended up with the property. Bottom line, they invested $11,000 total money invested that included paying for the attorney. Now, prior to that, the student had inspected the property and made sure that it was a good property. It was located in the right place. Matter of fact, it was on a lake. It was a building that was less than 15 years old. And what did they do? Well, they did the foreclosure process. Then they went ahead and sold it. They used Zillow to sell the property. When Zillow sold the property, they paid Zillow a commission and they were left with $169,000. You see those little white circles? That's how many auctions are taking place within that state in the next 90 days. This calendar updates every single day. I'm here today to show you how to make money. To do that, I'm going to show you briefly that there are thousands of tax defaulted real estate properties across the 3,000 plus counties in the United States. This is quite interesting. You're looking at the Ted Thomas Magic Interactive Map and Auction Calendar. It changes every day. Now, I created the calendar and the map so I would know how many auctions are taking place every day in the United States. Now I can show the little guy how to make money. Most importantly, I created this system so I could have an auction list for each auction 24 seven in the small population counties. There'll be dozens, sometimes hundreds of properties that will be ultimately sold at auction or tax lien certificates that will be sold. In the large population counties, they'll have hundreds, even thousands of properties of attended auctions with more than 2,000 properties in the large population counties. Right below me, you can register and we'll send you a sample auction list. Don't forget, request your free auction list right below me.